Lizzie Bird, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, we are going to be placing down the, uh, what's it called? The little Blathers tent kit, tent maker. Thought it was a tent kit. I guess it's a tent maker. Um, for his museum, he's going to be heading here to our town and hopefully able to set up sort of a bit of a museum for us. But with that being said, I am super duper energized because after the last episode, I felt tired. I took a nap, had a snack, and I'm back. And that's sort of something I always love. A lot of people, including myself previously, do we have enough room for this uh, butterfly? We don't. Um, including myself previously, I have always tried to like, you know, keep pushing even if I'm tired when I'm playing a game, but I've realized it's much better just to take a nap and then come back even more energized to play it instead of just being sort of half tired playing a game. Um, so let's go ahead and imagine our spot. I think this is going to be good. This is pretty close to the main town area. And ooh, I like it. It's a much bigger tent. Is this a good spot? You know what? I really like it. I was worried that it being on this side of the river was going to start making things too crowded. But overall, it's looking fantastic. Wow, this can set up his place now. Well, hopefully he does that soon. Um, hello. Come back for more, huh? Must be winning per uh, my winning personality, kidders. Yeah, definitely. Let's chat. Or it is that, except for the plaza, we're allowed to plop furniture down wherever and whenever we like. I kind of want to stick a bench and a window, a vending machine somewhere to like make a cool hangout spot for folks. What about you? I say, I say if you got a cool idea for the island, then go make it happen, kidders. <laughs> awesome. And is there anything new on the bulletin board? No. Um, I think I should probably erase these since I have seen them. Yep. Erase. And... Uh, all right, so just that way it's not cluttering up the board. No new announcements. Of course, we read those last episodes, so go check it out. Let's talk to Tom Nook now. Hopefully, he's happy with us that we were able to um do all that. Maybe I should sell some of my stuff, too. Like, I don't really know. Oh, no, I'm not controlling this. Ah, Zebra. I take it you found a suitable spot for Blathers to set up, hmm? I did. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. I'll let Blathers know that he can move in as soon as he wants. In any case, you just got here, so I'd hate to see you push yourself too far on day one. But it's no fur off my nose if you want to rack up those Nook Miles and pay me back quickly. I've got a few tips for racking up the old Nook Miles, so don't hesitate to ask if you need a little advice. All right, well, we definitely will. I think the first thing I'll do, I'll sell some of these seashells. You know, we are pretty close to the shore. Um, Let's see. Oh, well, we have that extra slot now, but I'm thinking like we probably don't need the co-wire as much and the Venus comb. I'm sure these things will show up more in the future as well. Uh, but we'll go, just go ahead and sell those two. And how much will that be? 360 bells, not too bad of a price. So we officially have 2,600 bells in total and we'll talk to you. What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. By the way, thank you so much for finding a place for Blathers to set up. Ah, but you're looking for a practical suggestion, hmm? Well, I don't mean to rush you, but there is a small matter of your moving fees. Putting some work to chip away at those is what always time all spent, if you ask me. And if you're looking for a hint about how to learn more, earn more miles, did you know that you can get miles just for shopping? Yes, yes, shop here via the Nook Shopping. And we're running a special right now, so you can get a bonus miles for selling things. Don't miss out, hmm? All right, so let's go ahead and we, we just sold some stuff. Maybe we can buy something from the Nook Stop. That'd be cool. Nook Shopping, hopefully we're able to upgrade it like, to a proper shop at some point. I am tempted to get the outdoor table. That way we can actually have some more room to put some stuff on. I do love these t-shirts. We definitely want to grab some sooner or later, but we can earn up that money pretty soon. These are the shoes we already have, but in blue. I don't like the style of the shoes in general, personally. I wonder if this stuff will change, probably each day. Um, but for right now, outdoor table, 2,200 pounds. It's a very pricey piece of furniture, but I think it'll be worth our while. Please select from the following services. Um, also, how do I get the, do I have it now? Yeah, how do I get, maybe it gets delivered to me. Huh. Um, anyways, DIY tools, we got miles. If your tools break, just make more. And to take away the sting, you'll earn more miles based on the number of tools you craft. Sweet deal. So there we go, we crafted five tools. We've gotten 300 Nook points. If we can get to 5,000, we can pay off our debts. So that'd be fantastic. And there's some more to it. Shop to it. Living on a remote island doesn't mean you have to go without life's luxuries. Shop to your heart, heart's content with Nook shopping and you'll earn Nook miles. And that got us 300 more Nook miles. All right, and we could do that 19 more times and get more rewards for it. That's very cool. Um, 
I don't see anything else at the moment, but I'm sure that we can get quite a lot. Yeah, I'm a little confused now. I mean, obviously I spent the money. Because, yeah, I'm down to 400 now. There's not really anything else I can afford. Um, so I'm sure it'll show up. Somehow. Uh, ABD. I, I haven't really checked this out. This is where we can deposit some bells. I don't know if it's possible that we can lose bells. I don't know if it's exactly very important. But we'll sign off right now. And... What will I take? We do have a cardboard box. That's mine. <laughs> and then maybe a tree branch or two. They're always useful to have. But as that fills up, some things will start to disappear. I don't know if I want to sell it or not, but... In the meantime, as I'm deciding, let's craft. Let's see what other things I might be able to work towards to in today's episode. I'm thinking mostly, we probably wanna do some nice outdoor stuff like the birdhouse requires wood, more softwood for that. And the campfire I've already made, but with that I can also make the bonfire. I would need more wood for that as well. So one of the main things I probably wanna do right now is chop down some trees. So let's get to it. You can definitely tell my voice is a little groggy from, uh, <laughs> From taking a nap. I hope nobody minds. But this is definitely one of the best post-nap games I can imagine. So can I read this? This spot is reserved for Blather's Tent, Nook Incorporated. So hopefully soon, I don't know if he's probably not gonna be there today. Whoa, ah, oh, no, my ax, it just broke. Oh no, thank you for your service, faithful flimsy ax. That's not good, I really needed that right now. <laughs> okay, um. So let's see what we gotta do about that. First off, we got some Nook Miles for trashed tools. Using a tool until it breaks is proof of your hard work. In praise of your good deeds, you're getting Nook Miles based on how many tools you've broken. Okay, so there's another 300. We've already gone up 1,000 in today's video. Hasn't even been 10 minutes. All right, very cool. So I'm trying to think about what might be best when it comes to storing everything. We really might have to start putting things on the floor even more inside of her house. Maybe I could get rid of some stuff. Like I made the leaf umbrella, that's very cool, but I can make that again at any point in time. I'm not the biggest fan of this shirt. So maybe I could just sell those two things. And now with my extra space, I can put some different uh, little critters on the floor. So um, let's go ahead and place item, just like that. And We'll just place as many as we can on the floor while still being able to leave. <laughs> that's, that's sort of the, the struggle, right? Oh, that's just a cool little tank for him. I wish I had more decor in there. It looks a little bored. There's not, uh, there's no room to place anything. Can you not? Let me try this. No, no, hold on. I think it's because I'm standing at a little bit of a weird angle. Whoa, okay, it's because it's gigantic. Um. All right, I'll, get, I'll keep that in mind. As long as I have room to access the bed, I'll be okay. I don't recommend doing this with your room. <laughs> don't just put aquariums everywhere. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, the thing is, is that I just really need the space in my inventory right now. I don't know what better way to do that. Okay, so right over this way, paper kite butterfly. And because it's really important to me that I get this stuff to the museum, which I hope that the next time I play, the museum is available, or I'll sort of be in big trouble, but that's most of it. <laughs> we got a little zoo in our house, or a tent, really. Oh, that's great. Um, and in the meantime, oh, those are my flowers. I was like, why can't I? Wait, do we have our watering can? We don't, no, we do. Hold, let's water some of our flowers. We haven't done that yet. Perfect. Is there any way to really tell if you've, watered some and water have not watered others. Oh, they do have a little sparkle to them. I don't want to walk over them, but at the same time, oh, they're so sparkly now, I love it. What happens if I water them too much? Hopefully not then. Yeah, it doesn't seem like too much. Okay, well, they're all watered now. That's very cool. And we can start picking up some weeds, just getting them off the floor, because we will need these just for crafting different things. Of course, now we need a brand new fishing rod, but I think we just need sticks for that. We have two sticks right now. Hopefully we can get more, just like that. And over this way, pick some of this stuff up. So it is definitely something we need to keep an eye out for, is the durability of our stuff, because we really don't want it to uh, break when we really need it, you know? So 
Gotta pay attention to that, make sure that we have plenty of resources, either it be sticks, weeds, rocks. It's always worth going out of our way to pick some of it up. Much more than in the other games. Eventually, you just sort of leave it be once you've got, gotten sort of what you need. But for this, it definitely is worth it. Those things felt a lot more like clutter in the previous games. Anyways, we're going through this way now. But I think that I, I mean, I guess I'll put down some of the stuff that I end up making, but I don't mind selling some of it either. Uh, so let's first talk to you. Hey there, Timmy. Welcome, Zebra, how can I help you today? I wanna sell. So, I am offering, right now, um, a campfire. And you know what, maybe the cardboard box, because I don't see myself actually using it. I mean, I should at least see what it looks like first. Um, but, not the campfire. Yeah, what happened to our little umbrella? Here it is, leaf umbrella and Madras plain shirt. Plain shirt? Plaid shirt, oh, I was gonna say. When did I get a plain shirt? It was plaid before. I don't realize I read it wrong. There we go. Look at all the fun things you brought in today. Allow me just to take a moment to run the numbers. And done. I could buy these from for a total of 580. Very cool, so we're almost over 1,000 again. Very cool. And let's get to crafting then. Yep. So, I do need a brand new ax. We do have enough for it, let's do it. That's the most important thing for right now. I can start worrying about the other stuff a little bit later. I made a flimsy ax. Keep crafting. Because I do want to see what else I have to do. I really want to do the bird house. That sounds really cute. So I think we just want to go ahead and get some softwood next. I wonder when like my fishing rod is going to run out of durability. Probably soon, because I've I fished a lot last episode. But for right now, nothing to worry ourselves about. Go back to chopping. So unfortunately, still can't knock down these trees that are, you know, sort of in the way. But I can hit each tree three times. I probably don't want to do any more because it doesn't give us anything. And I don't know if that's wasting the axe's durability. And that's not something we want to risk, so. We just want to make sure everything stays nice and productive. And I can get quite a lot of stuff here, so it's definitely worth it. All right. It would be cool if it gave me some kind of warning when things were getting weaker, or any kind of indicator, but it doesn't look like there is. Yeah, there's there's no way to really know. Just gotta go, gotta go for the flow. Probably the more we use them, the more we'll get a better idea about that kind of stuff. Oh, whoa, be careful. Oh, did we already, we already did that one. Whoops. So I haven't talked to Biff today. We'll have to go and do that soon. Yeah, this is the third episode I'm recording on the launch day of the game, and probably the last one for today in the real world, um, just because if you play the game too much in one day, like there's, there's only a limit on how much you can really make progress in Animal Crossing in one real life day. Usually, it's a game you play every once in a while. We caught on the yellow butterfly. We're going to go ahead and sell that, because we already have uh, the yellow butterfly donated. Yo, Squirt, you seem to hype as always. I wanna chat. Hey, isn't that the hat I gave you? Looks great. Really shows off your head muscle. Squirt, head muscle? Didn't think I had too much head muscle, thank you. I think they call that a brain. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't see too much else going on. Ah, oh here we go. We can sell, I think, oh no. Both of these, maybe? Yeah, we got a common butterfly. And you. Tiger butterfly, yep. Okay, so we can sell all the butterflies we've caught, and there goes our net. I oh, know, I guess it, that's it for my flimsy net. That's fine. Oh, here we go, we get more Nook Miles for that though, which is awesome. You've got the bug. No, we got it for getting the bugs. Earn miles just for catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that won't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. So we got 10 of them, which means we get 300 Nook Miles, and this is something I think I'll work on for right now, or at least after I make a couple more things, is I want to, uh, Continue catching things. So maybe that's how it works. Maybe every time I catch about like 10 bugs or fish, the durability will die out. There we go. Oh, I, I'm gonna have to purely listen for this one. There it is. Oh, oh is he new? Yes, I caught a Crucian Carp. My skills are sharp, that is new. And there goes our fishing rod. Darn. So I didn't catch 10 fish. 
So maybe it's, it's it really is about how many attempts I give at it. Lots to learn, lots to learn. So right now the struggle definitely is balancing everything, trying to make the most of everything with our limited inventory space. I don't know if I can place things outside and they won't disappear. I hope we might have to experiment with that. Maybe I'll put down like a butterfly I already have outside and see if it disappears by the next episode. Um, So we're going to sell those two things. And confirm. And that should at least get us over, yeah, a thousand. So 1,380, very cool. So let's go and craft. I now have to remake my fishing rod and net, which is right here. Need oh, I don't have enough tree branches. So what about this one? So I need 10 tree branches in total for both of these, got it. In the meantime, we are making a, uh, a birdhouse. Craft it. Yep, that'll be fun. Always cool to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, I made a birdhouse. Um, well, actually, I didn't did not want to keep crafting. But I wonder. I'm not going to actually sell it, but I am curious to see how much it will sell for. Um, and that was where. Right here, birdhouse. A birdhouse, sure. Eight hundred and forty. That's actually pretty good. But I'll pass. Like I said, I made it. I want to keep it. I'm proud of my work. I do want to see what he has for sale, though. What's for sale? Um, oh yeah, he has the, the lawn chair, and oh, I could also buy some if I wanted to save time on earning up materials. We could also just get the slingshot. We don't even have the recipe for that one. Uh, medicine, white tulip bag, cedar sapling, a sapling, DIY for beginners. Maybe I should get this. It's a digital DIY recipe book. Let's see. I don't know if, what is this? This is this DIY for beginners contains simple DIY recipes that can use that use materials you can easily obtain. Also need the recipe data to your app immediately if you decide to make a purchase. Let's see, that's 480 bells. You know what, let's give this a try. It seems like, you know, more info the better. Oh, and there's more recipes after that. Oh, so it looks like more stuff is opened up in the shop in general. So that is going to be sent to our phone. Very useful. And we're done. I hope you enjoy your DIY even more now with your new recipes. Anything else look interesting? Um, so we have flimsy axe recipe, flimsy watering can. Why would we need to buy these if we already have it? Hmm, weird. And there's also an arch. Um, let's do the slingshot recipe then. Because so I want to be able to make a slingshot whenever I want. So that's just paying for the ability to make it, not even to have the slingshot. Uh, we could have bought that up here, though. Um, it's much cheaper this way, though. Anyways, is there anything new in here? There's not, but we do get more Nook points. As you can see down this way, first time buyer, you won't get miles every time you buy something on the island, but your first time is special. Enjoy these miles, courtesy of Nook Incorporated. And that is gonna be 300 more. We're over 4,000, less than 1,000 to go. If we can get three more things done, we have gotten our um, our thing paid off. And that's exactly what I'm trying to focus on in today's episode. So yeah, a couple of things to do then. For right now, I wanna clear out my inventory a bit by putting the birdhouse down outside. And maybe just putting, like I said, one of the butterflies out. If I didn't sell it accidentally, not paying attention. Um, so birdhouse, place item. Maybe I'll just like put the cardboard box and everything out here too. Cardboard box, place item. Can I open it? No, it's just a cardboard box. Um, and then over behind that, we'll just put the campfire. I know it's a little bit unorganized at the moment. I'm aware, don't worry. We'll work on it and it'll get more pretty as we go on. The slingshot, let's learn this. Huh, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for slingshot. Oh, you know what? That's the difference. It's not, it's just a normal slingshot. It's not the flimsy slingshot. Is that the idea? Let's take a look. Um, DIY recipes. Or maybe it is. It just looks like a normal one to me. Ooh, an ocarina, wooden block toy, old fashioned wash tub, stone stool, got a frying pan, hay bed. Cool, lots of interesting options here. Um, 
I'll have to keep it all in mind. But right now, we need to try to collect 10 tree branches in total. That'll be the best thing for us. Do that, we'll just gotta shake a lot of trees. Shake things up a bit, be a game changer. And I'm trying to be very careful when it comes to like, how many times I shake a tree. I don't think I should shake it more than three times. Oh, that's a big fish. I wish I had a fishing rod right now. Oh, well, there we go, our 700 bells in total. I don't want to shake it like more than three times. I'm worried about wasps coming out to get me. Okay. Wait, wasn't I already at 800? Maybe I was at 700? I don't know, that was weird. Okay, there's another branch. Over this way, I don't think I've shaken this tree. I prefer my tree is shaken, not stirred. There we go. Not too much happening with this one. Come on, there has to be a little bit more. Ooh, what is that? A little leaf. A pedal board. Huh. So we can just get free stuff out of trees? Whoa! Hey, it's like a musical thing. No, I wanted to interact with it. Can I do anything with it? Oh, uh, it doesn't look like it. So if you don't know, all this stuff with all the buttons and knobs and stuff, um, a musician who maybe is using some kind of electrical uh, instrument, you know, maybe like a guitar, they can use this device to like introduce different ways the sound is made, like maybe making the echo or making the pitch change. As far as I understand, I'm not a big musician, but this is very cool. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll have a use for it anytime soon. It doesn't seem like you can interact with it, which is sort of a shame. So I think that is something I'm going to sell, but still very cool that we could just find that of all things inside of a tree. Hmm. Anyways, let's go ahead and shake this stuff up a bit. Maybe over this way as well, because I don't think we have the 10 branches we're quite looking for. Let's take a look. Oh, we're at 11. Okay, perfect. Never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> Not the first time. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, I don't have a slingshot. Oh no, there's a present. I can't get it. Wait, right there, Mr. Present. I'm going to try to make a slingshot. I don't think I have the right materials. Oh my gosh, I could buy one, but I don't have enough money. Maybe if I sell the pedal board. <laughs> okay, quickly, give me your money. <laughs> All right, uh, I wanna sell. What exactly are you offering? I am offering a pedal board, and uh, that's it. Let's see what he gives us for this. I'm very curious. A pedal board, 350, sure. You know what? I'm sure we'll run into it in the future if I really need it. Um, but in the meantime, I wanna buy. What's for sale? I know it's for sale and I need it. Um, so, yeah, I did want to see also. Yeah, these are for the flimsy version, so we already have those. Uh, let's buy the slingshot. It's gonna be most of my money, but that's okay. I'm not going to use this nearly as much. Nope, thank you. Okay, run back out there. I really want to see if we can get this press before it gets over the river, because if so, we're in big trouble. Is it still out there? Oh, I think it's gone. Oh, well, we tried, you know? Um, well, now we have it, and just in case, you know, we will always have it available. So that's really good to know. I don't know if I can move my inventory at all. It would be it would be nice if I could sort it, but I can't really. Yeah, that's sort of a shame. It seems like it's gone. We missed our chance. But now we have a slingshot for any other time in the future. Also, I should go into the, uh, the Dodo Airlines later today. I haven't really gone into there to see what's at. Oh, and we also have a Nook Miles thing done. What did we get done? Shady Shakedown. Rumor has it if someone that someone on this island likes to hide furniture in trees. Yes, yes, I'll give you Nook Miles based on the number of furniture items you shake out of trees. So get out there and shake. So there's our first one, and that's 300 more miles. So two more uh, missions to go. We'll do that in a moment. But right now, I need to make more uh, equipment, catching more fish, catching more bugs. It'll all be perfect. So it looks like the 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 net had the best durability in terms of how many uses we can get out of it. But I can't wait to be able to get better gear, get it, getting better fish, fishing rods and nets and axes and shovels, whatever we can get in the future um, that lasts a whole lot longer. Anyways, there's that done. And then also, let's get this one, flimsy net. And we are good to go. Made a flimsy net. That's it for now. Okay, see ya. So for right now, I know I need to catch roughly three more fish and I should get a Nook Miles mission done. So let's try to find our fishing rod. 
right there. At this point, I'm sort of hoping we catch repeats because if we do, that means that uh, we don't have to worry about um, selling it. We could just sell it without having to worry about like, oh, should I have donated that? All that kind of stuff. I keep on thinking I can't walk off this ledge, but I can. This game is so pretty, I love it. Oh, here's a shell, giant clam. That's our second giant clam we found, so I think it's good to sell them. I don't think there's th anything we can donate anyways, from what I remember, but I might be wrong. Let's see if that'll get his attention, I don't know. I'll move over a little bit just for you. Oh, the angling is super important. There we go, come on. Oh, he pulled it in right, up, right away. Oh, it's another squid. All right then, I caught a squid. Do they not actually bloop? Wait, is this a different squid than the one we've already gotten? We should check. I know a way to check, and that would be to uh, pull this up. And... No, okay, so sometimes I guess they might just have more than one saying to them. Interesting. Um, So we'll definitely sell that squid since we already have one. That's good, that's good. It means we can make more money as well. So that was like hopefully I think our eighth fish caught. Doesn't look like there's any I can catch from up here, is there? I mean, I can do that. There's just not any fish around. What about down this way? Another shell. Okay, so I have enough space for either. Oh, oh, is this a message in a bottle? What does this say? Oh, the mystery. Open. Dear mysterious stranger, here is a recipe to DIY yourself a mirror that lets you DIY the way you look. By the way, be the way you want to be. And always like the you that you are since you're real neat. P.S. Look out for more recipes by Jeremiah Master Crafter. Thank you so much, Jeremiah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So with this, we can make a mirror and change our appearance, I guess. Oh, huh, okay, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a wooden table mirror. I'm really excited for that. I don't know if that's something we can make immediately. But that is awesome. So let's go ahead and use our net again, try to catch this butterfly. But it's true, you know? You gotta work towards being the you you wanna be in the mirror. It's very important. Um. So yeah, I don't see too much else going on. I mean, my inventory is full anyway, so we might as well just go back, maybe sell a couple of things, check out the recipe for this mirror, see if it's something I can make, because that would be awesome to do right now. Yep, let's go over this way. Should I craft something using Tom Nook's workbench? Yep. So, the mirror's right here. We will need iron nuggets, which I currently have no idea how to get, so it looks like that might be a little bit off. And then, you know, there's other things that are sort of for fun, you know? We have uh, the old-fashioned wash tub, the ocarina over this way. We don't have any clay, though, so that'll be something we have to figure out sooner or later. So for right now, I do wanna sell. I'm looking to sell tiger butterfly. Sand dollar. No, I wasn't done. Whoops. Okay, that's fine. I tiger about to fly 240 bells. Sounds good. That basically almost doubled our cash. So let's sell again and actually choose everything that I want. So, sand dollar, squid, giant clam. I'm gonna keep the common butterfly and put it outside. I do wanna keep the crucian carp. Uh, And that seems to be about everything. Look at all the fine things you've brought to, in today. 1,520 bells. That's a fantastic price. Only a few minutes of fishing and gathering for all that, so that's cool. So yeah, the first thing I wanna do for right now, before I forget, because I will, is to uh, just put that butterfly somewhere and see if it stays there or if it disappears. Because that's sort of something I'm worried about, is if I put stuff outside, it's going to just disappear over time. So let's just go ahead and place the item. And hopefully, oh, look at it in its little habitat. So cute. I don't see too much going on right now. Oh, here we go. Here, fishy, fishy. Not bad. Will you turn to see it, though? Coming a little to your right. Oh, no, they're preoccupied. Oh, that's much better. We got their attention. Whoop, it's a rock. I caught a stone. Very mineral. All right. Hmm. I don't see too much of, aha! Here we go. 
Oh no. Come back here. There we go. This guy's big too. Okay. And oh, this is new, right? No, no, we've gotten a yellow perch before. So got another one now. I can donate that. Oh, we got something done. Or not donate, we can sell it. Angling for perfection. So we've caught 10 fish now. Very cool. And that'll be 300 more. So let's see if there's, which one do we want to do now? Uh, we'd have to catch 100 for the next one. Um, Island Ice Thiologist. Itch thial? Ish? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, fill in your critterpedia with fish and earn miles along the way. Can you categorize each and every type of fish that swims in your island's waters? Hmm? I don't know if that's something I can really do specifically right now. I can't do that any more than I already have uh, because I don't have that many residents. You've got the bug, so I'd have to catch 100 more bugs. That wouldn't be good, or it wouldn't be easy. Um, you can earn miles for filling out your Critterpedia. Can you find every bug and unlock every entry? I'll try. So some of these are a long ways off. DIY furniture. Here's a win-win situation. Craft your own furniture, win. Enjoy your handiwork, win. Earn Nook Miles for furniture you've crafted, win. What could be better than that? So this one, I'll try to do, the DIY furniture. That one might be a bit difficult. We should keep looking for now, because that one would require a lot of equipment gathering. So whatever I'm close to. How much wood you've chopped from trees? That, that actually might not be too bad. We're almost halfway there for that. Trash tools. So we'd have to trash 17 more tools. That'd be a lot. Oh, I could plant five more flowers. That actually, not so bad. So let's do that one. It might cost a little bit of uh, pocket money, but that's why we have it, isn't it? You know, to spend it, improve the town. That seems like money well spent to me. So let's go inside. And I will very happily try to buy five more flower packets and try to put those somewhere. Maybe we could put them around the town a little bit. That'd be cool. Wrong way. Uh, let's talk to you. Welcome, Zebra. How can I help you today? I want to buy, actually. Well, actually, you know what? Let's sell our yellow perch. Might as well. Here you go. A yellow perch? Sure. How about I offer you 300 pals? Sold. And... We are going to talk to you again. What's for sale? So I'm focused on orange windflower bag, red hycanath bag, or white tulips. Let's do white tulips. I can sell you in singles or in bulk. I'll take five, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, excellent purchase. Yes, thank you for the 1,200 bells. Anything else looking interesting? That's going to be it for now. So what I would like to do, oh, we already got something for that? Oh, perfect, we might not even need to place them just yet, even though I do want to. Um, What I was thinking is it'd be really cool to have some kind of alternating pattern around the entryway, so you can almost see, they might have like little entryways in mind with these like wooden blocks. So what we could do is we could get the white tulip bags and turn around. I would like to have it like alternating. I don't know how easy this will be. Okay, so it's on the corner for right now, but I think it's exactly where I stand. Yes, so I want it every other space so that hopefully we can get either like red or white tulips at some point. And that would look really pretty. So it's like white, yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow. That'd be cool in my opinion. There we go. And one right here. Oh, that might be two spaces. So like, I might mess some things up at times. I really don't know if there's any practical way to fish, fix that except for like destroying it later and then placing a new one. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, I can water them. That should help them grow nice and strong, I would hope. And they're not spark. Oh no, they are sparkling. I missed this one, hold on. There we go. And one more, perfect. So let's see what our nook miles are. We should have gotten two things done. Uh, first one is flower power. Planting flowers makes our island more beautiful and can earn you miles, so grow wild. Yes, yes. There we go. 300 more, and look at this. We can afford our debt to be paid and flower tender. If you encourage floral growth by showering the island's flowers with water, I'll encourage you to grow your growth by showering you with nook miles. Well, thank you so much. Now we're at 5,350. Very nice little reward. And with that, let's go talk to Mr. Tom Nook. We have some miles to give him. So that was work well worth it, if you ask me. You know, we earned up all the miles we needed. 
Does this mean we can live debt free? I don't know. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About my moving fees. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees? Very well, you owe me 5,000 miles. I'm ready to pay. Thank you so much. Indeed, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for both of us, hmm? Yes, yes, you're free and clear of debt, living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? Oh, that wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? It's fine, I guess. It could be better. I'll say it could be better. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, but no one ever said that developing an island paradise would be easy. But we don't do things because they're easy, hmm? We do them because they are profitable. <laughs> well, if you're growing weary of life in a tent. Yes, yes, I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now, there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in remote locations such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. Ah, but with zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So, Zebra, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have a Miles Redemption service for the Nook Miles you've collected. When you access the Nook Stop, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. You'll be sure to check them out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you, re you continue to enjoy your getaway package life. Oh, I am tempted to take him off up on that new house offer, but let's see what else is going on. Moving fees paid. Thank you for paying all of your, your fees for moving to the island. Take a Nook Miles rebate as a gift and give yourself a nice pat on the back, hmm? So we're probably gonna get another 300, 500! Very generous, actually. Um, and then after that, we also have Bell Ringer. Spending your bells on the island helps revitalize the local economy. Yes, yes, I'll reward you with miles based on how many bells you've spent. Wow, like exactly that? Okay, never mind. I thought it was gonna give us exactly 5,000 back. I was like, wow, okay, we basically paid everything off for free. Um, and what is this one? Getting Nook Miles from Incor Nook Incorporated the first time you write something on the island's bulletin board. Keep using bulletin boards to communicate with everyone on the island. Yes, yes, so I, I should do that then, soon. Um. So yeah, how do I spend the Nook points? Hmm. Maybe here? Oh, system notification. Your account is now registered for Miles Redemption Services. We hope you continue to enjoy the many benefits of the Nook Mileage Program. Thank you. Please select from the following services. Uh, redeem Nook Miles. I just want to see what they have to offer. Um, we have Nook Miles ticket. Details. Take this ticket to the airport to participate in a special tour. Inquire at the airport for details. Huh. Custom Design Pro Editor. So like, this is an app. Yeah, adds professional design features to the customer's Custom Designs app. Interesting. Pretty good tools recipe. Ooh. A collection of six DIY recipes for the tools with excellent durability. Data will be sent to the customer's Nook phone. I think we need this. How much is that? Nine, oh, miles plus only? I don't even, this is like a subscription service. We don't even have this. Tool ring, it's essential pocket organization guide. Um, I really need to get miles plus apparently. Are there new hairstyles? I need more hairstyles. Oh no. We also got different shirts. Oh, and they're all Nook branded. Oh, they actually don't look so bad. The, okay, this one. For a second, I thought they were wearing a shirt on their head. Um. Interesting, so these we can actually get if we wanted to. Oh, the slippers and the backpack. Oh, that might be my favorite. The umbrella, Uchiwa fan, a wallpaper, flooring. I don't know if we can even do that stuff in our tent. Anyways, I don't want to, but I think it might be time to go back into debt. We, we need to start working on getting that new house. Um, so yeah, hi. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About my home. Oh, Zebra, have you made a decision about home ownership? Ready to move forward in comfort and luxury? As fun as living in a tent can be, a house gives you more space and helps you put down roots. Now, building a house means taking out a new loan in the amount of 90,000 bells. So what do you think? Ready to build your own home, sweet home? Yes, let's do it. Thank you for your business. I'll get a construction started right away. By the way, you get to choose from eight different colors of the roof for the roof. Could you please select a roof color from this list? Hmm? So we have pink, a red, pink, yellow, black, a different color. Here are the four other options. Choose one of these or one of the previous colors, yes? 
Blue, aqua, green, or purple. I'm more of a green kind of person. Okay, you'll have a green roof. I'll get that order in for you, yes, yes. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook mileage program upgrade. Just give me one moment, hmm. Oh, now we can have the miles plus, can we? I hope so. Yes, yes, there we go. I've updated your program membership details, Zebra. Now, when you use Nook Miles app, you'll have access to all the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Nook Miles Plus includes a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app, so please, give it a look when you can. That is all from me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? Exciting indeed. So, when we play tomorrow and next episode, we'll be able to do exactly just that. Um, see, so yeah, let's, uh, is there like a new app then? Or what? Uh, Nook Miles with a plus. Your rank has increased and you can now use Nook Miles Plus services. Nook Miles makes it, Nook Miles Plus makes it even, even easier to earn miles as you go about enjoying your island life. There are also special redemption options that only Nook Miles Plus members get. Please take advantage of this amazing opportunity. So first off, is there anything new here? And what is all that stuff up on the top? Oh, catch fish, earn bells by selling items. So I guess we'll be able to earn extra stuff just by doing all this. Catch a sea bass, capture a memory. Oh, we should do that, that'll be no problem. Plant flower seeds, I've done all these, but we'll keep working on them to get them done again. And that means we can redeem some Nook Miles Plus stuff. Congratulations on upgrading to the Nook Miles Plus program. With this upgrade, you'll have access to even more redemption options. We hope you continue to enjoy the many benefits of the Nook Mileage program. Thank you. So, redeem Nook Miles. Uh, so, special novelties. So, we're looking for, what was it? The pretty good, oh no, I can't afford it. Pretty good tools and recipes. Not enough miles. Um, I would definitely want that though, so we'll keep saving for it. And I don't think I need the Custom Design Pro Editor just yet. Please select from the following services. No, thank you. Okay, well, it's been a very fun episode, gathering, all that kind of stuff. I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see what our house, lo house looks like when it's upgraded. But for right now, that's gonna be just about it, I think. Um, Had a lot of fun. Hopefully by next episode, the museum will be here. Our new house will be ready. I am so excited. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.